Now we're now learning that the rise in COVID cases at local hospitals is causing surgeries that require a hospital stay to be limited or canceled. Now, doctors say COVID patients are filling the beds and straining the medical staff. Medical reporter McFair's first broke this news and she has the details. The swift spread of COVID cases among unvaccinated people is putting the squeeze on health care. Those are really sad cases and you know people are being admitted to the hospital wishing that they had been vaccinated. LCMC runs six of the largest hospitals in the area and look how the numbers have jumped. Today, 105 COVID patients in the ICU and hospital beds. Three weeks ago, just 10 patients. So our hospitals are stressed with the amount of patients coming in. Our EDs are strained with the amount of people coming in, and that's across the state. Friday, we first told you that at Oxner Baptist Uptown, starting today, the number of inpatient surgeries are now limited. LCMC hospitals are now doing the same. Beginning Thursday, all non-essential inpatient procedures are suspended. Doctors have been warning us and remind us this Delta variant is more contagious. Still, patients are surprised when they catch it. I think people think, you know, it can't happen to me. I can tell you if you're unvaccinated, you're absolutely at risk and it can happen to you. Doctors say vaccinated people should be reassured that the shots are protecting them from serious illness. The small number of vaccinated who get very sick are mostly people with weakened immune systems who can't make a lot of antibodies, like the very elderly, transplant patients, and those on immunotherapy. Doctors are looking into the possibility of a booster for them. This is why, you know, vaccines are important because what it will do, it'll ultimately keep the overall amount of virus that's in the community at a lower level. Expect cases to go up even if unvaccinated people get a vaccine today, it will take five weeks for them to mount maximum immunity. Still, he says our way out of this is to get the shot and go back to mask wearing. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. And some unvaccinated people are still concerned the vaccines were not tested in enough people, but Dr. Elder says more than 300 million doses of Pfizer and Moderna have been given safely in the U.S. alone.